<clears throat> Greetings, citizens of Cloudreach. My name is Cassius Kozima, leader of Shadow Noctis and follower of the Holland of Obscura. I am proud to be the new host of this year's Ethereal Dawn Festival and hope you will all welcome my administration with open arms. Now that the opening celebrations are underway, we will begin preparations for the main event. For those of you unaware, each year we introduce the public to the brave hearts that serve in the guilds that protect both our city and country. Up to eight members from each participating guild compete in the ethereal tournament in hopes of emerging victorious. Prior to this competition, those same teams of eight open the tournament with the performance to display their skills. Consider these your formal introductions to our guilds. In these performances, each team will showcase their guild's strengths and talents in the hopes that you will root for them to win the ethereal tournament. Starting now, all guilds may take this time to prepare their performances and sign up to compete if they have not already. We will call you for when it is your time to take the stage. And while we wait for these performances to begin, I encourage the citizens of Cloudreach to enjoy the festivities. We will begin the demonstration within the hour. That is all. This is so... exciting! Isn't it? Yeah, whatever. This year is going to be a tough one. There you three are! Whoa! Is something... wrong? Gold Star. Shadow Noctis. Shadow Star? I, I mean, G Gold Noctis? I'm just as confused as you are, actually. <laughs> well, no use in getting worked up before we even start. Now's the time we need to get ready for our performance. Come along, everyone. We'll have to find some place a bit more quiet to rehearse. Let's show this city what Silver Moon is all about, all right? place seems quiet enough. All right, let's get to preparing. Actually, I have a super important question before we begin. Who's going to be the frontrunner this year? Because I don't know if you know this, but I kind of had my moment on my latest mission that I definitely think earns me first rank. Dude, really? A uh, front runner? You see, Rex, part of the competition requires me to rank all of you from strongest to... Uh, not strongest. This is so that in the various games, guild members of similar rank are matched against one another. Challenges are a lot more exciting this way. Oh, okay. Then that must make me the front runner then, since I'm, you know, the strongest. Actually, 
about that. Huh? Gwen, would you be willing to be the center of Silvermoon's performance? Wait, what? Me? Are you sure? Of course. I'm more than certain you're ready. Uh, uh, okay, that's fine. Gwen's first then. That's fine. I'm okay with second, I, I guess. Ah, I've got it. I know the new guild ranks. Since Gwen is now first, Aubrey must have been bumped down to second because she nearly destroyed the judges stand last year. Oh, come on! And I'm willing to bet Finn got placed above Deacon for nailing three missions while Deacon's only succeeded on one. Aw oh, man, but I was really cool in this last one too! Hazel's still too scared to actually do any job, so of course she's still last. And since Deacon has one job up on me, I'm probably sixth. Seriously? I'm ranked fourth? Actually... I'm fifth? What? That's insane! How am I fifth? I promise you this isn't personal, Rex. And you weren't supposed to even know your own ranks yet. Luca's just too dang smart. Hmm. You're still new to the guild, my boy. And because of that, you still have a lot to learn. I ranked all of you where I think you would succeed best. And in your case, Rex, I think being ranked fifth would do you the most favors. Got it. Hmm. Now listen, everyone. Now is the time we must all come together as a team to overcome adversity and rise above. I know you're all capable of success. You've trained under me after all. Now is your time to show the city of Cloudreach what your hard work has earned you. You deserve victory. How about we take a couple of minutes to warm up? Then we can start discussing the performance. Be sure to get plenty of stretches and make sure your Eidos magic is at its most potent today. I'll call you all back when it's time to start practicing. All right, let's break, Silver Moon. Okay. <sighs> Just gotta do some stretches or something. <sighs> huh? Finn? Hey, Rex. Do you want to talk? You seem upset. Hmm. I gave you that idea. The face you're making. What face? Never mind. Just call it a gut feeling. I know something's up with you and Gwen, but I don't know what it is. I want to be there for you guys. Yeah, there is something. I've done cool things! I'm crazy strong! I beat up that abyss walker, took down a bunch of abyssals, and punched an old guy! How come I'm only fifth? I get it. This is because of Rose, isn't it? Huh? She got under your skin earlier, and now you feel like you've got something to prove. And I bet that feeling's only gotten worse since you realize she's also competing. Right? Look, Rex, don't beat yourself up. Or Silver Moon. None of us are really that strong. Except for maybe Gwen. But even she's probably feeling the same thing you are right now. She is? Well, maybe. I don't know if you know this, but she's not exactly an open book. The point is that you shouldn't worry about being the strongest right now. It's just going to distract you. And then you'll get in your own way. I'm gonna go stretch now. You just think on that, okay? Don't worry about being the strongest. Now screw that! I'll show them, I'll show them all! I'm gonna prove my worth in this festival. And that's a fact! Then they'll all be sorry! Folks, this is Tristan from Clockwork Horizon, professional pilot and incredibly accurate marksman. Next to him is Lynette, officer of the Clockwork Horizon Guild. You may 
have seen her manage the docks, but today she is managing her whole squad. Will they succeed under her leadership? Who knows? Him. I've seen enough of these performances. There are other matters I must attend to before the tournament begins. Faye, prepare Shadow Noctis's performance while I'm away. We will be exhibiting our guild last. Yes, Father. you wish to take, Cassius. This is the fastest road to the Colosseum. You know what I meant. It is my solemn vow that I will bring an end to the Age of Stellari's dominion over Cloudreach. You have proven yourselves incapable of ruling this city. Once the rest of the Council of Aeon sees the same way, Obscura will restore this city to greatness. This festival is the first step in proving that. Once the masses from both Cloudreach and Afar recognize this festival as more successful than the previous ones, they will begin thinking of Shadow Noctis as the superior guild in leadership. And when they compare us to Dragonheart, I have no doubt that they will see our vast dissimilarities. What exactly do you have planned then? You'll simply have to wait and see. Aubrey really did a number on you, huh? Yeah, what I want! What was that for? You're not tired anymore, are you? I. Huh. Are you three done? Silver said it was about time for us to perform, but I don't hear anyone calling our name. Up next, Gold Star of the Whole On Fortuna! Oh, cool. We got here in time for Gold Star. Ugh. Ever heard of scoping out the competition? What's there to scope out? I already know they're a bunch of jerks. Isn't that right, Hazel? Yeah! Well, if Hazel's watching... Let's just get this over with. Come on, Rex. Uh. Coming out the gate strong, meet Gold Star's rank one member, Cecile. Much like Fortuna, his fire magic is just as hot as the sun itself. Careful, ladies and gentlemen. Get too close and you're likely to get burnt. And that's Sienna, rank two of Gold Star. Her polarity idos will rip the weapons out of your hands and the coins straight from your pockets. Of course, she only pulls out this parlor trick when tax evaders need to pay up. <laughs> Everyone, meet Rose, rank three of Gold Star. Light on her feet and with deadly precision, this guild member is not one you will easily escape. You better not end up on her bad side or she just might carve you like a turkey. Hmm? She isn't using her magic? Why? Warren? Warren! Long time no see! What, Rex? Is that actually you? No. What do you mean, no? Hey, how's the pilot thing been going? Did you get a... license yet? It's license. And no, I'm still on repair duty. Dang, that's lame. Oh, oh! 
You're still in the guild clockwork. Her eyes on, right? Did you go up yet? <sighs> Horizon. Seriously, I don't remember you being this illiterate. Answer the question, smart boy. That's a no as well. But really? I thought I heard you guys get called earlier. No, no. See, my guild got called, but I didn't. Huh? I'm not on the team. Huh? How? They didn't have enough room, so I'm sitting the bench this year. Again. Just like every other year. Bummer. Hey, it's fine. Besides, I'm actually looking forward to seeing how everything unfolds. I witnessed firsthand what you and Finn are capable of back in Sartan. After seeing that, I know this year is gonna be a good one. I'm rooting for you guys. Oh. Wait, now I feel bad for not caring about you getting benched. What? Sorry! Up next, everyone give it up for Silver Moon! Hey, that's us! I'll see you later, Warren! Break a leg, Rex! I... I I'm allowed to do that? P -p -p whose leg should I... No, you don't actually... Ugh, whatever. Just go. Ooh, looks like Luca, rank 6, is preparing to use his items! Uh. And that was Hazel, rank 7! <sighs> Do. The. Thing. Are you sure this is a good idea? Just do it! Whoa! Incredible barrier magic from Finn! Rank 3 of Silver Moon! Rex, seriously, you do not need to- Carry your biker! Ooh, that one's gotta hurt! I told you, Rex! What a display! Deacon rank 4 from Silver Moon using doppelgangers to combat Audrey rank 2, who is hardly breaking a sweat! Hey, check it out. Everyone's looking at me. Don't you mean us? I mean, they did just say my name before yours. You're dead. Aubrey, no! Get back here, you coward! My notes say this is rank one of Silver Moon Gwen! That mask! Isn't this girl part of the Cosmo family? You're sure you're okay? Finn, she's dying out there. She's completely choking. Huh? Gwen? Wait, Rex! What? Did I miss this part of the rehearsal? Rex? Friends and enemies, it's time for the main event! Absolutely not. Shay, come on, please. Just this once. I already told you! Hmm. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Why not? Go crazy, Rex.
Huh? Where's my applause? My magic is awesome! Wait, it's, it's okay. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm just trying to... What the... What's going on? Jay, put it out! Hmm... How about... No. What? Rex, put the sword out! I'm trying! Uh-oh, the fire's waterproof! Put the stupid sword away! I can't! What are you doing? Drop the sword. Sorry, Rex. Me like that because it was just so funny <laughs> you're such a stupid jerk i thought we were supposed to help each other out help each other out <laughs> that's rich tell me how exactly did that little performance help me out well i'm getting sick of this begging and pleading for my help do you think we're friends rex that i care about you Consider this performance a lesson. You think my power is just something you can show off? I'm going to bend every time you beg me to? The answer to all those questions is no. And until you feed me more missiles, it will stay that way. Period. Hopefully the humiliation finally helped drill that through your thick skull. Never ask me to do something so trivially stupid again. And get us some more dark energy. It's starving in here. <sighs> Jerk. <sighs> oh, yeah. Hey, Finn. Rex, are you feeling any better? Mm. I'm really sorry about what happened. Yeah. Just forget about it. Let's just pretend that none of that ever happened. Guys! Warren? I'm glad I found you. What happened? <sighs> Rex's magic got out of control. Well, yeah, duh. I saw that much. I meant, like, why did it happen? <sighs> it's my fault. I'm sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize it would cause such a mess. But that's not the important part! It's... not? Why wasn't anyone clapping for me? I was still super awesome, and they just acted like... Like you were a freak? Now's not the time, Rose. Shut it, idiots! You really think you can talk to me like that after such an embarrassing display? Especially from you, Rex. That was pitiful. Lay off me! It's not my fault they were all upset. I didn't do anything wrong! Yes! Yes, you did! Are you seriously this stupid? I can't believe you just threw around abyss magic like that! How dare you be so irresponsible! Says you! How come you're the one lecturing me? You have the same magic I do! Why do you think I didn't use it, huh, idiot? 
Honestly, they let you get away with too much in that guild. With the kind of trouble you constantly cause, you ought to be muzzled. I... Lady, will you shut up? Huh? I, for one, thought Rex's magic was super cool, even if he did almost torch like ten people. That magic also saved a whole village worth of people. Who gave you the right to tell him how he can or can't use it? He shouldn't be catching shade for being a shade. <laughs> See what I did there? Who are you again? Seriously? Listen close, Rex. This is your last chance. Bail out of the tournament now, or I will crush you under my heel before you can do any more damage than you already have. I am not going to let you ruin everything because of your ignorance. Consider this your final warning. Move out of the way, fools. Ruin everything? What did Rose mean by that? Man, what a piece of work, huh? I bet she's jealous of Rex for having cooler black and white hair. Huh? And what about those tiny little needles she's always carrying around? It's like, what, she laid to her knitting classes or something? <laughs> <laughs> My name's Rose. I'm from Gold Star. Give me all your money, or I'm gonna sell you a jail cell. <laughs> oh no, Rex! Don't use your magic! You might just show me up, and then everyone's going to start paying you taxes instead! Stop! Stop! I'm laughing too hard! <laughs> Wait, where's Gwen? So stupid! Just calm down, Gwen. Catch your breath, and then go back like everything's normal. Your form was sloppy at best. Tell me, what possibly inspired you to disrespect our family's time-honored Shibu like you did? What do you want, Faye? What do you want, Gwen? Silver Moon. What would someone of your status want with such a pathetic guild? You had a seat in Shadow Noctis all but laid out for you. My choice in guild is just that. My choice. You misunderstood. I don't care about your choice. Actually, I think Silver Moon is exactly where you belong. What do you mean? Our parents may believe that you belong in Shadow Noctis, but I do not. You have been nothing but a disappointment to our family name ever since you first inherited your mask. I just wanted to know where it all went wrong. Are you trying to pick a fight? Is that it? Calm down, Guinevere. I'm done entertaining this conversation. You're the one who started it! I spoke with you for one real reason. To issue a declaration of war. When I defeat you in this competition, I will finally show mother and father that you're not worthy of our family name. Shadow Noctis will win and Silver Moon will lose, with you alongside it. And once they give up on recruiting you back into Shadow Noctis, I'll revel in not having to set my gaze on your face ever again. We both know what you are, Gwen. A disappointment. When this competition is over, I'll make sure the whole world knows it too. Hmm. Gwen! Ah! Read that 
we lost you. Where did you go? Nowhere and get off of me. Where's everyone else? They're closer to the stage. If we get closer, we can... Look at those beautiful moves! That's Faye Kozuma, rank one of Shadow Noctis. I'm pretty sick of people looking down on me, and underestimating me. It's like they haven't even given me a chance to show them what I can do, and that really ticks me off. I don't care if someone thinks I'm the worst, I just want them to give me a chance to prove it first. Because all of these people telling me that I'm worse than I think I am, is really starting to bring me down. <sighs> but I'm not gonna let it! I'm gonna win this competition and prove that Silver Moon is something special. That I'm special. And then there'll be no question that I'm just as great as I think I am. That concludes our guild performances. I hope you all are just as eager as I am to witness them in action. And now that the opening ceremony is officially complete, we may move on to the competition. Ahem. <clears throat> However, things will be different this year. In years past, this tournament consisted of one-on-one -on -one challenges scattered throughout the square. These challenges, while entertaining, are nowhere near the spectacle deserving of Minerva Dawnbringer. When she defended Cloud Reach, she fought across the entire city, not just one part of it. That's why, as of this year, this tournament will be an all-out brawl spanning the entire city. What? The rules of this new tournament are simple. Over the next three days, all of Cloud Reach will be magically reinforced from destruction by the Twilight Archivists. Everything within its walls will be used as a free range for guild teams to battle against one another. The goal of each guild is to accrue the most points by the end of the three days. The guild with the most points will be declared the winner. You gain points by eliminating guild members. Depending on an individual's ranking, they will be worth more points. For example, a rank 8 member will be worth a meager 1 point. However, a rank 1 member will be worth a whopping 8. When the bell rings, civilians will be escorted out of the city, and every competing guild will be granted a 30-minute grace period. After that, the competition will not end until the sun has come up on the fourth day. Once the countdown is completed, we will begin the tournament immediately. Wait, now? I'm not ready! I don't even have my sword and- Rex? Silver Moon is going to win. Tournament commence in three, two, one! I'm a freak when I'm talking to myself But it's like I was too weak to be someone else You could think that I'm a creep when I'm singing all along But it's like I couldn't see straight on my own When I fall, it start again And when I feel like I'm just dead And when I call It comes again And now I see It's in my head yeah. 
There's something that saved me all the time In my self It appears when I am breaking down Like a whisper in my head Come from my tongue, no word Like a whisper in my head When I've got something to share 